Hello! Can he come in? near the search perimeter in a U-Haul or some other type of vehicle. Is there any credence to that? Um, now we're going to prepare for the long game. And the long game is what we do best, the U.S. Marshal Service. Her arrest? No, I've heard those reports. Uh, her arrest was, again... Well, ultimately, we asked uh, Cavalcanti, what was your end goal? Where were you going with this? And he had stated that he intended to carjack somebody in the next 24 hours. He said the law enforcement presence uh, in, in this perimeter was becoming... Uh, too intense and that he felt that he needed to get out of the area. That's why he decided uh, to hold on to that rifle as long as he did. He first got out, he stated that he didn't move very much over the first three days. Um, he stayed in a general area and that if police were around at any time during the investigation, he would bury himself under thick, thick vegetation, shrubbery, thickets, almost to the point that you had to step in on him. As a matter of fact, he stayed on three occasions, law enforcement officers almost stepped on him and that tracking dogs were within, you know, 10 to 20 yards. So um, he moved at night. He used the tree lines. He slept during the day. And he didn't eat for the first three days. He said the first time he ate, he found a watermelon on a farm. He cracked it open with his head and he drank from stream water. So that's the indication he gave us as far as how he survived. Our goal was to surround him, get that perimeter set up, cut his resources off, make him uh, make mistakes, stress him. And that's exactly what we did. And by his uh, comments, as far as the presence of law enforcement officer, we knew that tactical plan worked. So um, that was very um, encouraging to know that we were doing the right thing. We knew we were doing the right thing the whole time. But to have him say and to have him say, I was going to give up, uh, I thought about surrendering. You guys are everywhere. I had to move before you found me. That was just, um, you know, very encouraging to hear. That. Um, Cavalcanti did make a statement that he said, um, I knew that I had to pay for what I had done. However, I wasn't willing to pay with my life. So we believe that, um, you know, he was a desperate man and we didn't know to what extent he was going to try to escape. He wasn't running out of gas. He was going to run that car to the, till the wheel fell off, so to say. So we were very pleased um, that we could apprehend him before another crime of violence occurred.